Today I'm going to be showing you how I go about treating corrosion inside all bike frames to make sure that it doesn't rust from within. So, I've had my frame powder coated. Uh, I was going to roller it but decided to go for powder coating in the end. £40 it cost me for gloss black for the frame and the forks. Not too bad a price. And here yeah, presto, it's come up lovely. Obviously shot blasted, it's taken a lot of the corrosion off the outside. Um, yes, there's still a bit of pitting you can kind of feel underneath the, the paintwork on the, the chain stays here, but everywhere else seems perfect on the bike. Now, great, got a powder coat on the outside, had it shot blasted, but there's always the problem of what it's like inside the frame. Is there any corrosion inside there that needs treating? Now, bikes are generally made out of reasonable quality steel so corrosion shouldn't be a massive problem but still we want to minimize the continual effect of any of that corrosion that may be taking place particularly inside the frame in that the hard to get areas now most of your bikes you have your lugs on them or your old bikes you have your lugs on them as we have here at the the head tube seat tube um, and down by the bottom bracket and you'll find that the tubes that plug into there, or welded into there, um, there's normally holes that go through from these um, lugs into the actual tubes themselves. And it's difficult to actually get in and do any cleaning inside the internals of the tube. So what I want to do is put something in there that will just really slow down any corrosion and really the best thing you can do for that is put some sort of oil in there I mean wax oil is what you, you spray on stuff underneath cars which stops the oxygen getting to the rust and stops the rust getting any uh, any worse um, now I'm not going to put wax oil inside this but what I'm going to use is engine oil so engine oil is quite a, a good high quality um, oil um, it's designed to sort of like stick to engine parts um, during the motion and make sure that things are, are lubricated well. And it, it's, it's quite a, a, a fine oil as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the bike with engine oil. Tip it into different orientations to make sure that um, the oil goes into the, the various tubes. Now there's no way I can get into this... Um, seat steer here but I can get in the chain stairs, I can get in the seat tube, top tube, down tube, and obviously bottom brackets and head tube etc. Um, so to do that I need to be able to plug off the holes that we have here. So we've got the head tube that needs plugging off. Nice the people who powder coat that put a, um, a high temperature um, tape across the top of here which I'm hoping will, will seal stuff in there if not I have a bung that can do that um, I'm gonna have to bung up the bottom bracket and bung up the top tube here so I have these special contraptions that I've made which are fairly simple so what you're looking at here is a length of all thread a couple of rubber discs that I've cut out um, some penny washers and some nuts on there and I use these on the bottom bracket on the head tube and for the seat tube where you can't fasten it from both sides so you can imagine with these ones I put one on one side of the head tube one on the other side of the head tube and tighten it up to get a seal obviously I can't do that with the the top tube here so what I do there is I, I have a series of rubber discs there and I just push them in tight fit to, to seal it as best I can. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fit the one to the bottom bracket, fill the tube up with engine oil, and then bung it, and then I'm going to move it into different orientations. Old engine oil, 5W30, find it's the best. 
pour it in, keep it as upright as possible because I want it to, as little to uh, to come out while I'm doing the pouring. Whee! There we go. I forgot that that was <laughs> great. I forgot that it had holes in there. I thought I'd had a look at that. Now the nice thing is, oh, where are we at? I've got the bombs that I got. I had a nice couple of little bongs that I got from the um, powder coaters that I can use to actually plug them holes up, which is what I'm going to look for now. I bet you're a pound to a penny. I've put them in the bin. Ta da! Here goes. I've found them. These are just little rubber bongs. So you find these little things here and there and become in useful. Hopefully these will fit in them holes. I'm going to say this and they won't. But... Do you know what? They don't fit in there. Bugger. Right. So, so what, I'm, what I'm basically going to do now is I'm going to tilt that up to there. Um, we've obviously got oil in here I'm going to pour a bit more in and if I can pour it in to this sort of position here it'll be filled all the way across there and then what I'll do is I'll, I'll whip it over I'll get myself a little bit of rubber that I'll just put onto there tape in place or keep in place with a, um, a, a zip tie and that'll stop any more leaking out of there it's trouble with a black frame I had a quick look at this and the hole was disguised by the fact that it's all black but I soon found out those holes were there Now the trouble is when things start going tits up like this the seal that I had to bung into the top here I put it down somewhere in the panic and I can't find it. Ah, it wasn't that far away. So obviously as I'm doing all this the oil is just running through and it's caught in the inside of the tubes which is all I wanted to do. I'm not going to leave it in there overnight and hope that something miraculous happens. The oil itself is sticky. Part of that oil will sit in there and actually if I'll, I'll leave it somewhere in this position for a long period of time what you're likely to get is some of the, uh, the oil will probably drain itself out which is not really what I want. So I've now, I've had oil in this area it's obviously been in and coated because it fell out came pouring out the holes so that's that done I've had oil down the tube I've now got oil all the way down the um, the down tube that's what it's called isn't it into the headset and now all I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it round again to get the oil into the top tube here and I dare say when I do that I'm going to get a little bit of leakage out of here but you've got to kind of expect that I'm doing it in my garage if I get oil on the floor not the end of the world is it So yes, I've, I've got leakage here, but I'm hoping that that's going to come down part that's going to pour down the inside of this. Um, in fact, I'm thinking I might do it the other way. Yes, you just slosh it around. I guess what you can do really is you can just fill it up with oil, bung it up, get it in your hand and give it a good shake around. For those of you who've done tubeless tyres, you're aware of that, getting stuff and, and shaking it to make sure that the, uh, the latex fluid gets everywhere. So... I'm pretty sure that's got oil everywhere now. So the plan is now, I'll take the bung out of here. It's been as ill prepared as I am. I've left my tub over there that I'm going to pour the oil into. So I'll just duck out a shot, uh, shot for a minute. And we'll... Um, I'll duck out a shot for a minute. I'll put my tub down, drain it, and then job's done. Bear with. You wouldn't think that I used to be in the uh, scouts, would you? Not very well prepared.
There we go. Good coating of oil inside my tubes. What I'll do is I'll just leave it there until uh, most of it comes out. I'll undo my bungs, wipe it up with a rag, um, perhaps get a bit of degreaser on there as well just to get rid of the, uh, the slippy slimy oil and then I'm done. So that's how I go about treating the inside of the tubes to make sure that there's no corrosion in future. Perhaps I'm just a mucky bugger and I just like to do messy things. Does it do any good? I don't know, but I feel comfortable doing this. If you enjoyed my video, please subscribe. It'll help me do more bike renovations and it'll help me raise more money for charity. Thanks for watching.